Hi guys, today is the day. Today is a big day, y'all. Today is the day that this challenge goes down. I'm really excited and I'm a bit nervous and I'll tell you guys why. I am Leah could cook. She looks like she could cook anything. Leah could make bread. You see how Leah drop it in the kitchen? Hello everyone, my name is Leah and I am from the channel I am Lee. And guys, today I am honored to be partnering with Miss Mama Mika's world and the rice queen to do this wonderful challenge. Guys, I made this awesome dish. And guys, it included these wonderful ingredients of mustard, rice, and pepper. Guys, I kid you not, it was a challenge, but it was super, super worth it. It was super worth it. And guys, you're going to see how much it was worth it when you step on over onto my channel and see what I did. So I'm looking out for you all. Come on over and join the I Am Lee family. And I do hope that you enjoy the recipe and that you actually give it a try. So I'll see you all when you get across there. And the rice queen didn't wake up with her name being the rice queen. She earned her name because she could literally make anything from rice. Not to mention the rice queen is my niece. So this is a lady who ate my food, bit her finger, begged for more and licked my platter, but today she called out her aunt and I'm honored to be called out today. So let's get this thing going, right? Let's get it going. This right here is my rice that I have boiling, guys, and I want it really, really soft to do what I have to do. I need it to be really soft. I'm not sure if I mentioned to you all that the three ingredients that we would be using today is rice, pepper and mustard we have to create one dish incorporating these three ingredients and something i want to show you guys while my rice is cooking this is some sweet peppers and some onions some red sweet peppers some green sweet peppers some onions and in this bowl here i have some beef that i have sliced in and nice so while the rice is cooking let's saute this beef in some vegetables and some butter. The aroma from this butter and these pepper and onion smells really good. I haven't added any salt or anything like that, y'all, because remember, my beef is seasoned. It's fully seasoned. What I'm gonna leave this to do is simmer down in there. I'm going to cover it under low fire and leave it right here. And while the beef cooks, we're going to work on our sauce. You won't be needing anything much for the sauce. Some ketchup. Some basil. A pinch of salt. And my favorite sweetener, some honey. Let's mix them up together. It's a bit thick. So we have to add some water. Let's add our boiling water and mix it in nicely. Look who's ready guys. Our rice. So let's season them up. Let's go in first with our blue bun butter, some salt, some black pepper. So everything is mixed in and yes, it's nice and gluey. Let's go in with the mustard. That mustard is gonna make that pie taste so cheesy. As if it had so much cheese inside of it. Let me see how good you all are. Tell me what is the next ingredient I'm coming in with. Okay, you're right, it's cheese. Right, so let's mix in the cheese. You all know how much I pound I paid for cheese? $31. I'll put it US equivalent on the screen. How much do you all pay for cheese where you all are? Can you all guess what's the final ingredient for the mixture? These two little runaway guys here. Mm. 
Let's mix it in. What this will do is give this a nice bind. It make it hold really, really nice. I'm a little body here is looking perfect, so I think it's time for our next okay. layering. With some sauce, I'm getting a bit excited now. All right. Let's do some carrots. Let's do some cheese. Some corn. Let's add those beautiful colors. And let's go in with our beef now. We have to try to put it, our peppers and beef. Oops, we had one that went out of the pan. Let's see how best we could spread this across the pan. Put in more sauce on top of it. Make sure it has, it's nice and juicy. Boy, it's so high. I'm wondering if we could put the other layer on top of it. We'll have to put a really thin layer on top of it. Let's put the final layer. This, because it's so high, I hardly want to put cheese to the end because it will make it run and we don't need that to run. So, I'm very careful as to my placement of cheese right now. With some of the honey sauce dudes, yeah. So this is what we look like right now before we put it into the oven and I had so much remaining that I decided to do another one. Yeah. Let's leave these in for about half an hour and then we'll check it back. Let's see what's going on in that oven. Oh my, it's flowing over. Time to take this guy out. Can you see this? Oh, let's leave it to cool out a bit and then we'll come back and cut this guy. Guys, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty of a rizania. Watch. Oh, just perfect. A rizania? Yes, a rice zania. A rice zania? Yes, filled with beautiful. No, 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 don't touch it. So beautiful. So beautiful. What do you want to do with the rice on here, Jaden? Take a half of it and eat. You want to take half of it and eat? Yeah. Well, go ahead. Mmm. <laughs> so look, piece of our delicious rice on here is going. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Tell me if you think you would try this. Yeah? So, man, you'll try this? Me too. Now, let's move. Try to move. But first, wait, wait.